but we are still looking at Hurricane Irma having winds close to 185 miles per hour. And those winds actually just passed through Barbuda not too long ago and are beginning to move through the northern Caribbean at the moment. Now Puerto Rico should begin to feel its effects just a few hours from now. Now we do have some updated models to show you from this morning. You still notice that it is expected to remain a category five hurricane as it tracks through the southern Bahamas right there and northern Cuba, then downgrade to a very strong category four at this point before making landfall potentially in South Florida right there as a category four. Now there is still a couple paths this could take and a lot of other models are pushing it a little bit further over towards the east. Now this could be good news for the east coast of Florida if it decides to take these tracks right here, but not so good news for the Carolinas for obvious reasons right there. It could make landfall up there potentially as a category two or three storm, but still areas like Miami all the way up through the coast of Florida could be seeing its effect. So really the biggest thing we're taking away from this is two different scenarios that the storm could take. It is co just consists consensus that it could make its way towards northern Cuba. Then after that, either move up along the Florida coast on this side or head on the other side right there. Now this one seems much more unlikely, but this is definitely the worst of the two. Now the reason is, is because the northeastern portion of a hurricane is always where the strongest winds are, the heaviest rain and all that. So if it does take that path, it's likely that areas like Naples up into Sarasota, Tampa, even over into Tallahassee could see some of the strongest parts of the storm. But like I mentioned before, it's really going to be either this track or even splitting both of them. That's going to be much more likely than it moving over into the Gulf. Now everyone's wondering about how much rain this could see. As you know, we had Hurricane Harvey not too long ago just give a ton of rain to areas in and around Houston. Well, you're going to notice maybe four plus inches for a lot of the area that you see here in the central part of Florida and along the coast, maybe closer towards 10 inches. Now for us here in the middle of Georgia, it's not going to be a hurricane when it reaches us, more likely a tropical depression, but there still could see be some isolated places that may see maybe two to four inches of rain on the outside of our area right there. A spot like Macon probably closer towards one and a half to two inches for that time. All right, now here's going to be a quick look at the seven day forecast and we are, are going to see high temperatures of 82 for today, rainy conditions for a lot of your Wednesday. And by the time we get to Thursday, Friday and Saturday, just excellent uh, conditions out there with highs in the lower 80s and sunny skies. Now for a last look at your fishing game forecast presented by Harrison's Body Shop. Best time to get out there for this afternoon is going to be a little bit after that rain